Welcome back, everybody. Matt the Bat here. Hope you're doing well. Now, earlier this past week, the Hollywood Reporter put out a list of the top 10 young actors to look out for that are hot right now, that are, you know, taking over Hollywood. And I thought that was an interesting list. You know, I looked at the list, and I'm going to go through them right now. Um, you know, some people say last I guess the last decade, it would have been like Emma Stone, Margot Robbie, Michael B. Jordan. Um, and that, but now in the new decade, you know, we're in 2024. We're looking at who right, I guess, I don't know if they're just going by right now or in the past couple of years. And then going forward, who are the, right now, who are the young actors working today that are the top of the top? Austin Butler, Timothy Chalamet, Jacob Ellerty, Paul Mescal, Jenna Ortega, Glenn Powell, Lawrence Pugh, Sydney Sweeney, Anya Taylor Joy, Zendaya. So, yeah, those, that's, the, that's the list. Of actors that right now are the top of the top in in Hollywood. In my opinion, going through this list, I'll start back at the top. Austin Butler. Austin Butler's been around for a while, but he broke out obviously two years ago with Elvis. Um, and then we just saw him in Dune Part Two. He was very good in both movies. He's going to be in the Bike Riders this summer. That was the most come out last fall. And like I said the other day, he's being rumored right now for the prequel to Heat, the Michael Mann film. And also, Disney wants him for Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and that's a rumor, so who knows how much of that is correct. Um, it's hard to say right now about Austin Butler, in my opinion. I like him in Elvis, I like him in June. Those are two movies. Um, you know, June was coming off of the success of June Part 1. So, um, I would say give Austin Butler another, another couple years. And then we can come back and say, is Austin Butler one of the top actors? Um, I feel like he's kind of like the Michael Fassbender right now of... Yeah, he had Elvis, he has Dune, you know, but like Michael Fassbender, he had, you know, X-Men prequels, and he was in Prometheus, the Alien prequel, and then when you look at those films, just those, after those first one or two, the sequels, like uh, Alien Covenant, I enjoyed, but a lot of people didn't like that one. I was in the X-Men prequels, or to the prequels, um, Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix, Dark Phoenix failed, and then everything outside of those franchises didn't work for Michael Fassbender. He's a great actor, but for some reason, nothing else would seem to work. Um, and at the beginning, he was up here. Now you barely hear the word Michael Fassbender. Kind of a shame. Now, Timothy Chalamet, I 100% see as one of the top, easily the top three in, in on any list as the, as the top young Hollywood actor right now in Hollywood. I mean, this guy's been around for almost 10 years, not even 10 years yet, starting back with Interstellar. And in the past nine and a half years, uh, between, you know, Independent films he's done to last year's Walk Dog, Doom Part 1 and 2. Um, he can do it all. Um, and we've seen him do comic, romance, uh, comedy, action, horror, serious, um, homosexual, like Call Me By Your Name. He can do it all. He, some people have considered him the next Daniel Day Lewis. And I don't know if he's up there yet. 
I still want him to see him, I want to see him work with Martin Scorsese. You know, I would love to see him work with Steven Spielberg. Um, and really see if he can get up there. Jacob Ellerty. I'm not a fan of this actor. I know he's huge in, on Euphoria. And he was in some of those Netflix movies, The Kissing Booth. Um, but from what I've seen from Priscilla and Saltburn, I do not consider him one of the top young actors right now. I'm sorry. Uh, Priscilla did all right at the box office, and Saltburn bombed at the box office. So, um, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a franchise under his belt. Um, he, he apparently didn't want to do Superman. He thought that was stupid. So you just lost out on your franchise money. Dumbass. Paul Mescal is someone I don't know yet. I have not seen anything that this actor has done in Hollywood yet. He's gonna be in Gladiator 2 later this year. That will be my first introduction to him. Um, so right now, I personally cannot say Paul Mescal. Jenna Ortega. Now, Jenna Ortega is an interesting one. Yeah, she is very popular right now with the Gen Z uh, demographic. Um, but here's the thing, Jenna Ortega almost reminds me of a Michael Fassbender. Where she had stream 5 and 6. Okay. Now, that was more of an ensemble. She was actually barely in stream 5. She did a lot more of stream 6. Um, so okay, she at least had a fr had a franchise. She's not going to come back for Scream 7. And now with Wednesday Season 1, that was a huge hit. Well, we're still waiting on Season 2 of Wednesday. That might not perform, that might not be a good season. And the funny part is, everything after, everything outside of Scream and Wednesday has failed for Jenna Ortega. She had a movie out in 2022, The Fallout, that was on HBO Max. That was a good movie, but no one talked about it. She had another movie come out this year on Paramount Plus, The Finest Point, I think it was. No one saw in that movie, no one's talking about it. She had that movie with Martin Freeman come out in January, Miller's Girl. I saw that movie on Netflix, horrible. So, this is another one that's like, yeah, she has Wednesday, and she she had Scream, but that's out of the picture now. Even if Meadowjuice, Meadowjuice is good, I doubt they're going to make a sequel right away. They might. But, she's one of those actors that's like, if Wednesday Season 2 doesn't work, and if Meadowjuice 2 doesn't work, there's nothing. Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell has been around since like 2014. He was actually in Expendables 3, which I didn't realize. He did that other movie, Everybody Wants Some, in 2015. Really good movie. Uh, I really noticed him in 2018 with Set It Up. Then all of a sudden he went on to do Top Gun Maverick. Huge hit two years ago. This year is going to be his breakout year. He has the Twister sequel reboot. And he has a movie on Netflix called Hitman that has a 97%. If those two movies go kaboom, one on streaming and one in the theater, yeah, this could be Glenn Powell's summer. He also has Lining Up, Lining Up, the Running Man remake, directed by Edgar Wright. Obviously, they're working on, also, you gotta remember last year, he had that romantic comedy, Anyone But You. That made over $225 million. So that was a huge hit for romantic comedies. Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, so he has a Running Man remake coming out. They announced the other day that he's going to be working with J.J. Abrams on a new J.J. Abrams movie. And down the road, we're going to get another Top Gun Maverick, Top Gun 3. When that comes out, I don't know. But I'm sure Glenn Powell will be in, involved. And he's already wanting to work with Sidney Sweeney again. So, Glenn Powell could become the next 
big time actor. If he plays his cards right, I'm gonna say it. He might be the next Tom Cruise. If he plays his cards right. Now he's already said he doesn't want to do a Marvel movie or a Jurassic. He turned down the new Jurassic Park. Why? I don't know. You could have had a franchise on your belt. Um, he said he doesn't want to do a Marvel movie. Even though I think he would be a perfect Cyclops. Scott Summers. But hey. But I don't know. Between Running Man, another Top Gun, and a new J.J. Abrams movie. And then maybe doing another romantic comedy with Sidney Sweeney. Like I said, Glenn Palace could become the next Tom Cruise or higher down the road. Florence Pugh. I, I love Florence Pugh. I think he's great. All the way back to Fighting With My Family. Now introduce me to her. He was in the Little Women remake. He's been in the recent June Part 2. He had a little movie out last year that was really good with Morgan Freeman. Um, I think he's one of the best. Easily one of the best right now in the, in the industry. Um, you tell me there's a new Florence Pugh movie out? I'm on board. She was the best part of the Black Widow movie with Scarlett Johansson. So, Florence Pugh is definitely up there. Oh, uh, and here's the Florence Pugh. She's in the... She was in Oppenheimer, she had a small role in that, but she was in Oppenheimer also. Um, she's going to be coming up, she's going to be in June Part 3, she's going to be in Thunderbolts. Um, and we'll see what else she has coming down the line. Sydney Swinney is becoming not only one of the hottest, just in terms of looks of Hollywood, but she is really making a name for herself. She might have started out on Netflix on, I remember she was on one of those Netflix shows. Then she moved on to Euphoria. She got a lot of uh, milled up for that. Um, but her in the movie industry, she's becoming like the next Margot Robbie. She's a, she's a major threat. She has the look, the looks, the talent, and she's becoming a producer on a lot of her films. Uh, she was one of the producers on Anyone But You. She's a producer on the Barbarella remake that she's lining up and her right to direct. Uh, she's doing she's about to do that boxing film about that female boxer. Uh, like she's going to do another probably romantic comedy of some kind with Glenn Powell. There's also been rumors that they want to get her to play Black Cat in Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland. So, Sydney Sweeney is on the rise. She is the next Margot Robbie in terms of looks, talent, and working as a producer, producing her own material, and having a real input on it. Anya Taylor-Joy 100%. Ever since I saw her back on in The Witch in 2015, almost 10 years ago, The Witch, Slit, Glass, The Queen's Gambit, Thoroughbreds, um, The Menu, uh, and then The Northman. She was just in Furiosa this weekend. She's a chameleon. She does so many different genres now. He also did the Super, Super Mario Brothers animated film last last spring, one of the biggest movies of last year. Um, I want to see her work with Scorsese. I want to see her with Spielberg. I want to see her go all the way. Even the New Mutants she was in, she was the best part of that film. And then we come to Zendaya. Now she's been in the Spider-Man film with Tom Holland. She was in June Part One and Two. He's known for also like Sydney Sweeney, Euphoria. He also started on the Disney Channel back in the day. Uh, in terms of Zendaya for me, I liked her in the Dune movies, especially in Dune Part 2. I liked her in her new film, Challengers, the tennis film. It was really good. I, didn't, I haven't watched Euphoria, so I can't really say on that. I've never been a huge fan of her in the Spider-Man movies. Um, so I'm kind of on the, on the rocks with her. 
Um, but for me, if there was, let's say, I would take out Jacob Elordi. I would say maybe like Kaylee Staney is starting to really climb the ladder between uh, Priscilla last year. She was in Civil War this, already this year. And she's going to have Alien Romulus this summer. And, there, and that movie hits. Kaylee Staney to me is the next Hollywood young act, actor to look at. Uh, Isabella Merced. I've been talking about her for a long time. I don't know why she's not on this list. Uh, she, going back to like Instant Family, Sicario, Transformers. Uh, she's just, just in a movie. She was in Madam Web, but hey, a lot of people were in Madam Web. Um, when she was in a movie on HBO called Curdles All the Way Down, great. That was a really good film. Especially her, she was great. She's gonna be in the new Alien movie. She's gonna be in Superman, the new Superman movie. So in another year, like this, Isabel Merced could easily be on this list. Well, yeah, do you think this list of the top 10 in Hollywood right now in terms of young actors, in my opinion, the top three are Timothy Chalamet, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Florence Pugh. And then probably Sydney Sweeney. But those are the top three. Timothy, Anya, and Florence. Um, well let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you, do you think, is there another actor out there that you would say no? They should have this actor on there. Let me know in the comments below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.